Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Rudd, and today I'm going to be doing a pack opening of these Chaotic cards. Chaotic is an older card game, for those of you who don't know, it was around in the early 2000s, but it died out a few years ago due to a lawsuit, um, unfortunately. And I know some people see card games as sort of a nerdier thing, but for me it was a, a big part of my childhood, holds a lot of good nostalgic memories and um, I'm thankful that there's still a community out there, people who keep it alive through things like Reddit and Discord. Um, and so this video is really for them. Um, if you're one of those people and you like this video, please uh, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, I want to make this channel uh, not just about video games, but really all sorts of gaming. So again, if you like it and you want to see more stuff like it, please let me know. Also, feel free to check out my channel. I'm going to be releasing another video showing off some of my collection. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So these are the packs that I'm going to be opening today. Um, this one is a collectible tin. I got this one specifically because it comes with the Fire and Stone preview pack. Um, I have cards from every series except for that one. So just a sort of a collector's item. I wanted to get this tin so I could get those cards. Um, pretty straightforward, comes with the preview pack as well as these other packs, these booster packs. Um, yeah, pretty cool collectible tin as well. Um, obviously it looks like the, you get this sort of like scanner thing that uh, they had in the show. And then this one is uh, the Secrets of the Lost City um, starter deck. Uh, I got this one because uh, getting these starter decks is the only way you can pack um, generic creatures. And the one that I'm looking for, the one I've been looking for for a while is Ursus. Um, that's kind of the end all be all card for me. I'll probably put him up like right here so you can see what he looks like. But um, yeah, that card is my favorite. Um, it's very rare, very hard to get, and uh, definitely the one that I'd like to pull the most. But I mean, whatever I get, I, uh, I won't complain, especially if I get a generic creature, they're always cool to pack. So yeah, that's what we're going with. Um, I'm probably gonna start with the tin, so let's get into it. It's pretty cool, I like the, uh, I always thought it was cool the way they used this little, tin to make it look like a scanner um, but yeah so inside you'll see if it'll focus we have a uh, rise of the oligarch pack two of them uh, turn of the tide and forge unity as well as a og dawn of Perrin pack gotta love the ogs so yeah i'll be opening these i'll probably be editing them so that I'll just cut to the rares, so it'll be a, a sh much shorter video that way. But yeah, let's rip these open. First one being the Forge Unity pack. Um, all of these come with nine cards, I believe. Two, two rares, you're guaranteed to get at least two rares, but you could get a super rare or an ultra rare. So the rares for this one, uh, Muge's Toon Fork, Gravel Grind, those are pretty cool. As well as a creature, a couple locations, and some battle gear, not bad. Okay, so I think I get it now. I think uh, the, the rares aren't in the back of the pack, but they are the ones against the ones facing the wrong way, if that makes any sense at all. Um, let's open this one. And so the rares are here. Maybe not, that pack was weird. All right, I guess we'll just run into the rares when we run into them. Got a cool creature, some battle gear, Mugic, rare attack, infectious implosion, earth attack, that's pretty cool. As, as well as Orth, I believe that's his name. Hard to see from here. Yeah, Orth the Empowerer. His ability is, if you can see that your engaged creature gains element five in any elemental types of the active locations initiative. That's pretty cool. It's gonna be kind of hard to use though, but not bad. Oh, nice, super rare. Morph Wrath. One build cost, five water, and it's all about your music counters. It's pretty interesting. Very cool artwork. That's one of the things I loved about this game was how cool the artwork was, um, as you can see there. Pretty cool stuff. 
Next Rise of the Oligarch pack. Kaibon, Battle Gear, Location. Nice. Super rare creature, Marillion. Um, I don't think I have this one, that's pretty cool. Nunk Warn, they always had such weird names. Uh, Fluid Morph, and attacks played by Nunk Warn also count as fire and water attacks. Uh, if Nunk Warn has exactly three music counters on it, when it is defeated, you may return it to play in an open space on your side of the battle, battle board with no music counters. Unique. Uh, that's pretty cool and pretty powerful if you could somehow manage your uh, music counters on it because then it would be just unbeatable. But once again, it's just really cool artwork on that one. I don't have many uh, super rare Marillion, so that's cool. Put that aside. Uh, rare music, Mindproof March, and some other stuff. Next, Rise of the Oligarch pack. Let's see what we get. We have that guy, some music, uh, location, some battle gear, and Stelgar. That's pretty cool. Um, for those of you who know the show, I always thought Stelgar's story was pretty cool. If I remember, he was made by, uh, man, what's that guy's name? Momark or something like that. Man, it's getting real nerdy right now. Um, but he was like a creation that got too powerful. Man, it just keeps getting worse. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, and again, cool artwork. Um, I had this card before. I think I, I think I have him in my collection. Never really thought he was that useful in play, but pretty cool to look at. And then um, rare location, Royal, Royal Mepedian Academy of Melee Arts. That's a mouthful. Um, initiative speed, reduce non-attack damage to zero. Mirage, creatures cannot be the target of music. That's pretty useful against uh, music decks, if you can see that. Pretty cool. Also, uh, Tainted Thunderstorm. Four build points, that's a lot. Um, 10 attack damage, 20 water damage, challenge. Music counters one, deal 20 damage. If the creature has one or more music counters, then you deal 20 damage, wow. Once again, really powerful against uh, uh, muges and people that use music, pretty cool. Now for the last one, the OG, first series, Dawn of Param. This always was my favorite, I know, um, didn't necessarily have the best cards. I feel like the cards kind of progressed uh, as far as their usefulness the later the game went on, or the series went on, but these are just something so cool about the first generation cards. But let's see what we get. We got a creature, Bodil, he's always funny to me. Um, this guy, Music, Rare Attack, Paralyze. Not bad. Magmon, that's pretty cool. At least we got a rare creature out of it. Windslash, Vinta, and Nothalax. Not bad, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think obviously the coolest thing we got out of this was that um, Nunk Warren, or however you say his name. These are the two super rares we got out of it. Pretty cool. Um, but obviously what we've yet to open is this. Uh, cool thing about these is, I think it's the same for this one even though it's a sort of like preview pack is that you're guaranteed um, a super rare. I know that's how it was in the other tins, but I guess we'll find out um, if this one is as well. Yeah, so here's the card that is, I'm pretty sure guaranteed to be at least super rare. I got a Care of the Fierce in a tin like this one time. That was probably my biggest pull, so let's hope that card's good as well. Um, here's a preview pack. I'm not sure how many come in this, actually. Um, but it's cool, as you can tell, the Fire and Stone. That'll focus. Little emblem there. Um, this is a collector's item. It's cool for me to have. If I can get this open. There we go. Let's see. 
So the first one up front, the one that we saw, Rigan, uh, Danian, Mandibore, Muge, expend Earth while engaged. The active player reveals a new active location. Cost of player's ability, creature loses Earth. Not bad. Uh, pretty cool artwork. Um, oh, that's cool. Armor of Earth and Might. A quick creature with Earth takes 10 less damage. Sorry, I gotta keep that in frame. Um, damage from music and activated abilities. This battle gear begins the game face up. And Wama. I didn't know Wama got another card. Um, Wama Flame Guard. Defender, Fire, Defender, Earth. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. It's interesting that this rare card just has a yellow emblem and like there's nothing shiny about it like there were um, in other series. Seems kind of lazy to me, but still cool to have um, add to my collection. But yeah, so drum roll please. Let's see what this guaranteed super rare card was. Nice, talking um, um I know it's not super rare because it is a first series, but I actually don't have a talking Nom. And again, I love first series cards. Um, wow, 100 speed, that's really good. Um, it's cool to have. So I call that a success. Moving on to the Secrets of the Lost City uh, starter deck. Um, again, uh, generic cards are really what I'm looking for, but I'll get what I can get. I always thought the artwork for these starter decks were uh, pretty cool as well. Uh, I know it's something I keep repeating, but the artwork, the artwork for this game was really cool. Um, something interesting I was just thinking about though while looking at this is that I don't think uh, this Max or Protector of Param or Care of the Fierce uh, were in this Secrets of the Lost City series. So I don't know why they put them on the box art if you can't, like you can't pull that card in this series. So I don't know why they market it that way. But either way, the artwork is pretty cool, but let's get into it. First thing you'll see is uh, this, uh, whoops is this uh, info booklet. Um, I guess it's like a manual for the game. Um, some random card. And then one of the things I thought was really cool is this um, little play mat. It has like, if you wanna play with your friends, it lays out where you put all the cards and has like um, little, these little markers for your stats and all that, but I'm sure you guys know about that. Um, and then here, I'm trying not to reveal if it shows the uh, rare cards. Here is the one booster pack that it comes with, and then here is the starter deck. Um, I think, I don't remember, I think the uh, generic card, if there is a generic card, it would be in here, and then this is just a random booster pack. So. Tell you what, let's just open this one first and then we'll go to the uh, starter deck. It's crazy to think that back when the, this um, game was still in production that these booster packs cost $4 for nine cards. It's funny, there's an advertisement here for Shadow Warriors, the game that uh, very few people liked, but uh, yeah. All right, I'm not sure where the uh, rare cards are in this, but uh, I guess we'll just run into them when we run into them. Um, get that out of the way. Here is a Mujik, Omar, uh, Perathon Racer, it's pretty cool. A Location, nice. The Magma Dam, super rare location. Initiative Air, creatures without fire have recklessness five. Well, that's pretty powerful for a uh, underworld fire deck. That's pretty cool. If that'll focus. Pretty cool stuff. And ancestral anthem, music, and Hurricane's feast. Pretty cool as well. First attack, each creature plays this combat is reduced by 20 damage. Wow. 
it's a lot. An attack, some battle gear, another attack. Pretty cool, I'm glad I at least got a super rare out of that. And here is the starter deck. So again, I'm not sure. I imagine the uh, rare cards are in the back. I think in these starter decks you are guaranteed at least a super rare as well. Um, but we shall see. Um, these, all right, these are facing the other way, so these might be something. Um, and then, yeah, this is just the deck. So I'll just flip through this quick. Here's the master code. It's interesting that these came with uh, 24 bonus cards uh, that were online. I wonder if they were all the same or if there was any luck involved in that as well. But it looks like I got a Danian deck. That's pretty cool. I always thought this card was really good for just being a common um, rarity. But I mean, he has a lot of health. He has um, Earth, Earth 5, really good courage. Really good card for just being common. A lot of your basic stuff just for a uh, standard starter deck. Um, pretty cool though. Some of this might be useful to help uh, some of my other decks that I have. But without further ado, here are the four cards that are in the booster deck. Um, I'm not sh I don't think all of these, I'm guessing all of these are rare at least, and there's at least one super rare. I'm not sure, but let's just see what we got. Nice, Draconis Threshold, Portal to the Past. I've said it a million times, I'll say it again, that's a really cool artwork, especially with the holographic uh, film on it. Initiative Speed, all creatures are considered past creatures. Creatures have no tribes. That's really interesting, I wonder if that means that you can only play generic music. That's really cool. Second card, some battle gear, Varan Varanos. Uh, quick creature has range and swift one for each creature in your discard pile. That's pretty cool. Kiru Village. And Afjack. Sacrifice Afjack, put music on target creature you control. Well, I did not get a generic creature out of that. Um, and again, I was looking for Ursus, but it's still really cool. Um, I'm glad I got some super rares that I didn't have previously. Um, and yeah, uh, hopefully this is something I'll keep doing uh, in the pursuit of finding Ursus, especially if uh, those of you watching um, like the video and want to see me keep searching for him, maybe I'll uh, buy some more starter decks and keep looking, but I'm still happy with what I got, um, but yeah. So here are the super rare pulls for the day. Um, Nuckworn, again, pretty cool. I could see him actually being pretty useful. Um, Takinam. Uh, maybe not quite as useful, but still really cool. Uh, I'm glad just as a collector, it's a card that I now have. Um, this location, the Magma Dam. I could actually see this being really useful in my fire uh, deck. Another location, Draconis, Draconis Threshold Portal to the Past. I could see this one being useful as well. And then this attacked Morph Wrath. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, obviously I am a smaller channel, I'm trying to grow. So if you guys could like, subscribe, all that good stuff, share with your friends. Um, and let me know what you guys would like to see next. Um, if you wanna see more chaotic content, tell me what you'd wanna see and uh, I'll get around to it. So thanks for watching, bye. Thank you.